So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top, where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just... checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kinda sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh, definitely checked my ID and even did a pat-down. Really thorough. So Todd's alright in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean, when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd! Turn it off, please. You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Eh, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks.
Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. I'm excited to get going. Especially since I heard you started last week. It started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. I chose football. American, to be clear. I had no interest in all that running they do in soccer. Plus, I love the physicality of football. I can see how that relates to wrestling, but how'd you end up here? I loved playing football, but I just kind of got burnt out going from college to the pros and wanted a new challenge. I started training for this a few months back and WWE took notice. That's good, but don't expect this to be easy. You're going to have to work as hard or harder than you ever have before to make it to WWE. I realize that, and I respect everything that WWE superstars do, inside and outside the ring. But there have been a lot of guys who crossed over successfully from football to wrestling, and I plan on being the next one to do it. I like your determination. Now let's see if you have what it takes to get the ball in the end zone. Hey, who are you? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce, the biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. Uh, uh, bigger, actually. I haven't had time to watch Japanese wrestling. I was busy playing football at the highest level in the world. So you're a football player, huh? Man, you guys are all the same. You come into our sport think it's gonna be easy, but you're in for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm gonna take this opportunity to sing you running back to whatever team you were cut from. You remind me of a lot of the guys I played against. All talk. Luckily for them, when the whistle blew, I couldn't punish them anymore. Last time I checked, there's no whistles here. Yeah, but there's a whole lot of wrestling rings, which you have very little experience in. You're on my field now, rookie. And when I'm done with you, you're gonna be begging for a whistle. We'll see. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Thanks. You're a football fan? <laughs> no, not really. I just like your team's colors. Big purple fan. That'll be the color of my gear when I get to WWE. But anyway, I actually have an athletic background too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. Even if Lawler helped get your foot in the door, you wouldn't be here if you weren't talented. I'll see you out there in a bit. Ah, oh, sounds good, buddy. Oh, and before I forget, can you sign your football card for me before you leave today? Sure. Just as long as you don't sell it online. Ah, oh, well, then you know what? I can get it some other time. I'm just messing with you. If you can make a few bucks, then good for you. And literally, it might only be a few bucks. <laughs> See you out there, Chase.
I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy? Since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Okay, let's get started.
Before you say anything, do you really think you just got everything I had? It's obvious I shouldn't be here. So I'm not gonna give 100% in a training match against a nobody. Cool. Is that what you're gonna tell Triple H? Because he probably want an explanation for why the hottest free agent signing since AJ Styles just lost to a nobody. Triple H wasn't watching our match. The coaches just say that to scare you rookies. You think so? Because I'm pretty sure after I beat you, I looked up at the camera and saw it zooming in on me. Probably Triple H wondering who this rookie was who just showed him they're wasting a crap ton of money on an overhyped bust. Face me when it really counts, and we'll see what happens. Here's the thing. I think it already did, and we saw what happened. But I'm happy to give Triple H a replay anytime.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland. Weighing in at 322 pounds, Ryan Wolfman Taylor. This guy reached a point where pro football wasn't physical enough for him. He didn't want timeouts, halftime, or a 16-week season. He wants to level people every night of the year. Well, he's in the right place because every day is game day in WWE. Big time match for the Hitman! And his opponent, representing the Hart Foundation from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart! I gotta say, guys, it is an absolute honor to be here ringside to call a match featuring the excellence of execution. How funny it is to hear you change your tune, Saxton. You've been complaining about the Hitman's attitude recently, and I think it's ridiculous. The only thing you've ever excelled at is being subpar. I have the utmost respect for Bret Hart, but I don't appreciate the fact that he seems to not believe that people still respect him the way they have over the last 10 years. And you can sense the anger emanating from the competitor tonight. Eyes like a blazing fire. This is a man you don't want to be in front of right now. He's a man possessed is what he is. We've got Canada's favorite son on the other side. There's no question Hart's an elite strategist, but will the hitman be able to carry out his plan as he devised it? Or are you going to have to make adjustments during the course of the match? I seriously doubt Brett is having any feelings of distress, Corey. Hart is so versatile that calling it audible is second nature to him. Locks in the pump handle. What the? Oh my goodness! A kick right to the midsection. This ought to be good. What power? Power bomb! Boy, wait a minute. Not done yet. Oh, oh Samoa drop. Flat out power. Wow. A deadlift military press. Holy moly. Slam. Hart just can't stop this attack. Rare to see the hitman baffled like this. Hitman never saw that coming. Expected that. And that one misses the mark. Are you kidding me? And he's taking this to the outside now. Oh, look at the torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Oh, it gets put into the barricade. Brett is not finding a way to gain the edge. The Hitman unable to use his wide arsenal here. Four. Sudden cutoff from Brett. Brett showing how much punishment he can withstand before getting his own offense in. Brett could be turning his fortunes around. Climbing to the top rope.
All right, Sweeney back in. Reversal, what a counter. Yeah. Reversal on top of reversal. Brett is not finding a way to gain the edge. Rare to see the hitman baffled like this. Man, painful. Looking to inflict even more damage right here. Ten face buster. The lights are dimming for the hitman. Wolfman, Taylor! Wrestle perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. Introducing first, from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 322 pounds, Ryan Wolfman Taylor. We're seeing an athlete who was a top player on the football field until he reached the pros. He just couldn't catch his big break. He came here because the fire to compete still burned, and WWE became his passion the moment he stepped through the ropes. Try on his five hundred dollars shirt. Of course, I can believe it because your bank account's about four hundred ninety nine bucks short. It is just such an incredible moment every time the Rock competes. 
desire to be the best ever has been fulfilled. The Great One possesses amazing agility, power, and stamina. Uh, Brahma Bull looks set to run over the competition here tonight. Stone Cold Steve Austin says what he wants, does what he wants, and he's not afraid of the repercussions. And their opponent from Victoria, Texas, 